Hi, my name is Deborah Bird, and I am a local mortgage strategist here in Plano, Texas. And so I just wanted to break down what the difference is between getting pre-qualified, pre-approved, and then what we call offer ready or TBD approved. So um, when you're looking to buy a home, we always recommend the best first place to start. In fact, any top producing real estate agent will also tell you this, is you gotta get pre-approved through a mortgage lender because they don't want to put you in a car and start showing you around until they know exactly how much of a home you can buy. Because as you can imagine, if you're out looking at $500,000 homes and all of a sudden you talk to a lender and you only get approved for $300,000, well now it's going to be really hard to find anything that you like in that price range. Or maybe you've looked online and you're using certain apps and they give you kind of this false um, mortgage payment expectation. And so you may have already thought, you know, here's kind of my budget of what I want to pay monthly. And so you look online and, and you do your due diligence because sometimes we just don't know what we don't know. And um, I will say Google isn't always correct. Um, but essentially, you could be looking for a price point that you think is going to be a monthly payment, all to then find out once you qualify um, that that really isn't the case. So. First and foremost, you need to hire the best mortgage partner who's going to have a strategic approach, who has a team so they can leverage certain tasks and make sure to go really deep for you. So you'll notice when you apply on my site, it's not going to be uh, similar to probably any other lender's application, especially if it's one of those internet lenders that um, isn't locally based where they know the Texas uh, legal guidelines versus just a national um, lender. And so you'll see that I kind of walk through and I'm really trying to study you in this purchase, not just from a financial budget standpoint, but making sure that your financial future is also, um, you know, it aligns with your long term goals, which oftentimes I have found that lenders don't always ask the right questions. So we sometimes get into loans that it's like hindsight's always perfect vision. If you would have known, maybe you would have done it differently. Um, I've owned that t-shirt a couple different times and again I was a teacher before I ever got into the real estate business and so I feel like since I've owned that shirt I can just share with you all uh, where I went wrong um, so when you get pre-qualified the reason why this doesn't hold much weight um, in our industry is because essentially it's just an application where you've gone online you've applied but there's no supporting documents to prove uh, what you put in the application which is why I always encourage people, um, don't allow yourself to almost sabotage your qualification. I've, I've talked to many clients where they're like, well, I just don't know because of credit or income or down payment. Again, there's a lot of misconceptions out there of you have to have 20% down or you have to have an 800 credit score. Um, I've helped people who literally had a bankruptcy yesterday. Um, and that's because we have some traditional loan programs and then non-traditional programs that um, we kind of service with our own portfolio funds. Um, so don't allow these kind of negative thoughts to prevent you from at least knowing what the truth is. And that's my main job is I hope you hire me where I earn your business uh, to be your trusted mortgage advisor is because we do take a different approach. It is very strategic. And then even if you don't qualify right away, I'm going to put you on a plane and we're going to stay in touch to help you one day reach that goal. Because that's why I'm in business. It's to help as many people buy a home as possible. And I do realize that home represents um, a lot of different things to people. And so I just feel honored to be a part of that journey with you wherever the story begins. So pre-qualified, mm, that's just an application. So that takes just, I'd say, maybe five minutes. You can do it on a mobile app. You go online, you apply. Now, we do have a digital mortgage experience where for those of you who just hate, I'm one of those, where if you ask me where do I locate my tax returns, W-2s, I would all, this pain of finding all of this would probably cause me to delay. Um, so we do have a digital mortgage experience where as long as you give us the e-consent um, where we can communicate electronically, we can usually get what's called a verification of employment from your employer who will let us know how much income um, you you make essentially so when you're waiting on us for a pre-approval letter just know there are some things that are out of our control that we're waiting on um, a verification appointment is one of those so if you have a great HR contact um, with their name email address that you want to send to us along with your application that's that's really helpful or sometimes if you let them know hey I'm applying for 
a home loan and they will be doing what's called a verification of employment. They know what that is. It's a government document that we all have to show proof, which let me just add to this. We also do a re-verification of employment about three days before we actually close. So however you apply today, if you're going to retire, um, quit, whatever it may be, um, please just stay in communication with me because a lot of times we can go off of an offer letter of your future employment. But if we do a verification of employment, which this has happened to me, um, it was actually a principal who chose to retire. It was like a week before we closed and we had to deny the loan because employment is based off your predictability and stability of income. So just know we do have that option, which will eliminate tax returns, pay stubs, W-2s, as well as account check, which as long as you put in your account information, we won't need you to send us um, bank statements. However, if you're going to do a government loan or a non-traditional loan program, and I honestly say, even if you're going to go conventional, I recommend you still send me this dirty laundry list of documents because I have saved more deals of how an employer has accidentally filled in maybe commission income or bonus income. This allows me to squeeze way more pennies out and allows me to work your uh, file more like a Rubik's Cube when I have these documents. So I know it's a pain in the butt. Um, you can upload them directly to your portal or you can email them to me if you'd like. Um, but traditionally on every loan, I always recommend two of your most current tax returns, all pages and all schedules which feel free to give your CPA authorization to just email them to us directly. We'll be happy to communicate with your CPA if that's easier. But just remember, it's all pages, all schedules, even if you're self-employed. If you have K-1s, we need to see percent ownership. That's very, very important. And these can't be screenshots. Okay, so investors, they have to be a PDF that's very clear. They have those free PDF apps that you can download where if you take a nice, clear picture that's straight overhead, no shadows, not blurry, and you convert to a PDF, that works. Um, but most current two years tax returns, most current two years W-2s or 1099s, okay, or both, if you have both. Um, and let me just give a little disclaimer on the tax returns. If it shows that you owed uh, money, we will have to show proof that that tax lien was paid or that you're on a payment plan, okay? Um, your most current 30 days of pay stubs. Your most current two months of asset account statements, and that's only of the account or accounts that we're going to be using for this purchase, whether that's where earnest money comes from, um, any part of the down payment, closing costs, um, asset account statements for that, and then a copy of your driver's license. Now, this is just what's standard. Her situation, um, for example, like we do have an investment home loan program where we can go off of no income and no employment. Uh, we also have a self-employed income loan where we can go off of no tax returns. So pending your unique situation, I always say, just show me all your cards. This doesn't mean that this is what goes into the file necessarily or to the underwriter, but allows me to work my creative magic to figure out strategically which loan program is going to be best for you. Um, and then something very unique about my team is this is where most people start shopping is the real estate agent will ask us for a pre-approval letter, which on the letter we have to state we've, we've seen all of these items and we can't issue that letter until we have this kind of all buttoned up, okay? However, what we did is we went ahead and we have in-house underwriting and processing, which is important, but we send all of our files and we upgrade from here and we go to this, which is the golden ticket. This helps win more offers, even if your offer isn't the highest. And that's because if you look at it as offense and, and defense, I'm obviously on the offensive side of the ball. I'm pushing, I'm going to help you get a home loan, and obviously I have a biased interest as I make commission, um, which you don't pay directly. That goes to the investor once they um, sell the loan. And so just so you know as well, you also don't pay your buyer's agent a commission. Okay, You only have down payment and closing costs with escrows if you end up going that route, which that's in a different video. Um, but the defensive side of the ball, they have access to running what's called tax transcripts, fraud reports. Um, they have different software programs where they are really assessing your ability to repay. Um, sometimes they find things that we don't have access to at this point. And unfortunately, I have had clients who have gone all the way here. They started submitting offers. They got a contract, two weeks in, they go to underwriting, and now they no longer qualify, and they are absolutely devastated. 
Um, they potentially could lose their earnest money, and it's just a really bad situation. So we are all about finding solutions, not only the perfect home loan solution custom for you, but also solutions to winning in the marketplace. So standard on every client, we, we like to go this route, which does take about three to five more business days. That's kind of going on in the background. You can still start shopping here, which just takes about one to two days. It just depends on how quickly we get this information. Um, but when you start submitting offers with a letter that has a underwriter's signature and my signature, that's a game changer. Again, that, that takes away all risk. I personally call the listing agent on your behalf and say, hey, um, I'm a local lender. I'm giving my lender a recommendation. Although I can't personally reveal any confidential information, what I can tell you is this client has a golden ticket. So even if you don't trust my eyes, I've already sent this through processing and underwriting, and we have what's called a TBD approval, where all we need is a contract, order an appraisal, and we're ready to go. So these are the steps of getting what's called pre-qualified. I just highly, highly recommend, recommend from my professional opinion is that you upgrade from not just a pre-qualified application status, but you upgrade to a full pre-approval. Um, so don't delay. Still, still fill out your application. And then in the background, this, this gives us time to work on your application, do a full credit analysis, um, start getting your custom packet designed based off your goals. But then you can start sending this in. And I do recommend if we're, if we're tight or if you're not going conventional, just go ahead and start sending this information together and then we can upgrade you so that you can get that dream home of yours and uh, then we can close and be your lender for life. So um, the next step is to go online, okay, apply here or please connect with me. This is my um, handle here for Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and if you would do me the favor, my business only grows by referrals of clients just like you who are seeking good information. And so if you would make a post yourself, maybe add this video, tag myself um, to the post so that if there's anyone who's looking for the same information and they just don't know where to go, or maybe your biggest takeaway of something that we do that you know you hadn't done before with your other purchases, I would love it if you would share it with your friends, your fam family members, um, so they too can have the correct information out there because we do want to empower and equip people with the right information so um, you're not just making a decision but the best decision. So we look forward to serving you and um, again, I'll wait for your name to pop up in our application queue and we will go from there. Hope you're having a great day.